Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, rather than, like, I mean, I had everything back and ready to go four days before the end of the month, but there wasn't really any contracts that I wanted to go ahead and do. Um, there was some low-level ones that I thought would be good, but the thing is, is that we don't have a full low-level lance quite yet. Um, I'd have to bring a mech forward, outfit it. Centurion still needs to be... Um, re-outfit with something on its arm. we got to figure out what we're going to do with that. Uh, the urban mech needs to be updated. We'll probably bring the other urban mech forward, um, figure it out. We're still running in uh, um, 528000 a month, which isn't bad at all. Uh, so I waited till the end of the month so that the contracts would refresh. So we're going to have a look here. Now there's one I want to do. There's a, there's a two skull easy pickings. It's an ambush convoy. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Um, we might try this one next time. And then, of course, there's a couple of lower level ones here. There's Noisy Neighbors. Um, some of these are, are against Pirates. This one's not Escaping Spy. We can probably do that. Uh, we'll do those later, but I want to go ahead and do this one now. Easy Pickings. Proxy War, I think, is will be a nightmare. Proxy uh, War Duel by Arrival Local. I, I don't know. It's a, solo, it's a solo duel, so at two skulls will mostly likely get shredded by whatever they've got so I'm gonna avoid that he does his own stunts at two and a half skulls might be possible um, and birds of prey is against the uh, pirates so we don't want to go ahead and do that so let's go do easy pickings do some work for the pirates here get some good salvage out of this um, and we're gonna go with our standard lance and let's get this done Okay, they're right on top of us, or we're, or we're right on top of them, one or the other, and we have allies with us. That's the question. Crap, looks like they've got some uh, half decent mechs there. They don't have very far to go either. What do they have? Must be close to the convoy. Yeah, we're right on top of them, buddy. Uh, looks like we got some guys with us here. Got a Hornet. Uh, that doesn't look like that's going to help out very much. Uh... Centurion, MML-10, a couple of medium heavies and a rotary 2. That's actually pretty nice. But you get shredded though. LRM-15s. Hornet's got what? Medium, small, LRM-5. So it's not going to be much help. And is there only three? Hetzer. Centurion, Hornet. I guess that's it. I guess it's only three. Uh, what do we got here? Orion 1. Hector. Oh, they've got really old mechs here. A couple of large laser minuses. A Clint. And is that it? Is it only three vehicles? Prowler. R10B mechanized ICV. Infantry combat vehicle. Badger A track transport missiles. I guess that's it. Looks like it's just six. Now, I could be wrong. There could be more back here, but it's probably unlikely. All right, we're going to reserve. Reserving action. Let's see what our allies do and what they do. Yeah, these old mechs are going to die pretty quick. I'm going to reserve again. So we only had one pilot that had an ability to add some skills, and that was Queen B. So I added one to her tactics. Um, because apparently tactics level also uh, um, sort of dictates what uh, sensors you can use and how well you can use them. Alright, that guy moved, so let's go over here. I'm getting a sensor trace. Yeah, it's this guy right here. How about we just shred him? We'll leave the Orion on the vehicles, or our, sorry, our Archer on the vehicles and our other mechs will handle their escort. Where are you going? He's like, for, forget this. Not getting paid enough for it. Not getting paid enough for it. Alright. Um, oh, we do have a fourth vehicle here. Wield APC SRM. So there might be a fourth mech too. To keep our eye out for that. Um. Wow. 
He hasn't moved yet, that's why. Okay, let's get into here. Didn't want to get in front of the convoy, but we'll move down. Um, switch to regular ammo. Inferno's not going to help us much here. Alright, did some penetration there. Nice. Could be a torso. Clint. God, it's so goofy looking. A lot of nothing. Yep, torso damage. Beautiful. We'll follow up with the dervish on that. Commander. All right, B. Let's get over here. Oops. Let's get to a blue. There we go. Solid blue. Much better with solid. Oh, wrong person. Wrong person. Let's get the t turn this off. I don't think we'll need that this battle. Let's get our tag up to the top. And go ahead and fire. Tag's on. Four or five hits. Not bad. A couple of engine crits. Reporting critical hits. Can't be running an XL. There's no way. My problem is I'm getting the... Uh, I'm getting Queen Bee and Arachne mixed up. I keep thinking Arachne's flying the, uh, flying the lamb. Of course she's not. Let's get into here. Okay, let's see if we can switch over to dead fire. We sure can. Let's hammer him. Torso gone. This is going to go real fast. Here I was hoping for a tough match. We may have to jump off this planet, look for a new planet. Got something you want done? Yeah, you know what I you know what I need done. You know what needs to happen. That's a that's a death shot right there. Finish him up. Ooh, just barely too. Face plant. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. All right. Uh, what else we got back here? Oh, that's the Clint. Fifty percent, forty. Same. A little better on this guy. Let's take out the prowler. Oh, yay! They're heading your way. Oh, they're right behind us. It was a trap. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Depends on what they have here. Light mortar carrier. And then, is it two light mortar carriers? Hybrid carrier, TBM, LRM. We gotta take that guy out. And it gets interesting. Nice. I'm liking the random drops and the 0.3 uh, map size. What's this guy? SRM carrier. That guy's gotta go. Ooh, we better be in the trees, though. Wow. Bad chances to hit. Let's get the barrage on him. That's a lot of dead fire. Firing at enemy six. Yikes. Um I've got your back. We gotta kill this guy. Gotta kill this guy. Well, it's a good thing this guy's in between me and him because we'll be able to hit him as well, hopefully. Firing on the enemy. 
Oops. Oh, I'm targeting the wrong guy. No! I thought it was... Oh, that's bad. Maybe he'll go after the Centurion. The Centurion's the real threat. That's that's what that's what I say. Damn it! I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> okay. Um. focus on the convoy so I was also told too that if uh, we have a mech in the um, extraction point or the den denial zone that they can't actually extract anybody out of the uh, out of the AOE or the area of operation so um, that I didn't know I have to test that out at some point in the future at least we've got the land mech that she can just kind of jump in there and um good shooting man she can kind of just jump in there and deny him if we ever end up with a problem looks like we go before the SRM carrier we're gonna jump the hell out of there that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do when do we go 14 okay Maybe Hopper can make up for his mistake. Talk to me. Fix your error. I hate the fact that I can't click on this target-wise. Okay, we know that's the right guy. <laughs> I'm not moving because I want to get max damage on this guy. Punch right through his armor. Beautiful. Arachne, you got to finish him up. We can't have that guy shooting. Uh, you've got dead fire ammo right now, so that's fine. We can just switch over. Um, should be able to give us the marker for indirect for some reason. I hate that it does that. Um... Come on, it's I've got the indirect up now. Why won't it let me do this? We were able to click on the one mech before. Wow. Why can't I uh I won't let me target it? Um There we go. Um, wow, really, eh? We wouldn't get a kill on it anyway. Okay, we're going back to dead fire and we're going to go after the hybrid carrier. Bad chances to hit, but... Should have gone. I should have used the SRMs too. I keep forgetting I got those on there. Yes, nice. No, I ain't. We ain't leaving. We got a barrage coming in for that guy too, so. Uh, where can we go where he's not going to shoot us? Here, probably? Let's vigilance. Yeah, I don't think we can get a kill on this guy either. That's really great chances to hit, so we'll take this one. Uh, although I am going to switch to Inferno because I think this guy runs hot. I think these are two um, snub noses. 
if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to add a bit of heat to him if we can. Yeah, that's good. Nice heat. Beautiful. Ow. Thank God for AMS. Did my AMS shoot down? Oh, I was trying to... That guy was just firing wildly. Wow, oh, TBMs, man. Oh, head hit, too. Yeah, dinged your head. Yeah, not that much damage. Ah, oh, crap. He hit you in the head. What are you talking about, dude? You better hope you go before these guys next turn. There's a possibility for a kill shot on you. Did we hit? Oh, we hit him. Beautiful. It's close to being killed. So I I'm happy with that. Keep shooting that Hector, are you? Good to go. Wants that Hector real bad. Alright, let's sprint up here. Where are these carriers now? Here's one here. Um, can't get very far. Let's get into here. Let's go after this guy. Um, and I'm going to put these on because I want to make sure he dies. Beautiful. Look at that. See ya. Blast that chassis into the middle of next week. One for the scrap heap. Yep. I'm Look at it. It's like flying halfway across the battlefield. Come on, finish him up. Nope. I think we can jump, uh... Yes, Commander. I think we can jump Arachne over there now. Uh, minefields everywhere, huh? Get right on this guy. Cause fuck him. Alright, let's switch to... LKSRMs. Way better chance to hit from close. Let's fire. Come on. Almost. No long range missiles remaining. We had a dead fire, is that what you're saying? Don't fall. He's going down. I'll see you at the end of the turn. And down he goes. I've taken worse. No. Yes, Commander. Not so far you haven't. Um, where is this guy taking the most damage? All over. So that's th this side. Shit. Okay. I can't get to optimal range. I gotta stay in the trees. To reduce damage. There's great chances to hit. We're gonna leave it on Inferno because I think it'll do a little more. Yeah. Beautiful. That problem solved. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Whew. Okay. Hopper's down to one hit point. Yeah, man. Hammer him. That guy's got a mortar. The, the vehicle's got a mortar, so if he f does fire on Hopper, he's going to hit everybody around him. You just made a terrible mistake. Did he? At least he didn't hit your head. Okay, buddy. Knock 
me down, I'll get right back up. Now we don't have dead fire, do we? No. Couldn't hope for something that lucky. Um. Don't care about those guys behind me. And yeah, I know this heat here. No landmines. Let's go after this guy. Both lasers hit, that's nice. That was a critical hit, lad. Sure as hell was. Just waiting for orders. Um I know we're taking leg damage again, but... Going after this guy. Uh, how hot is he? Not hot at all. Oh shoot, I keep forgetting we got LK ammo too. Uh, do we go for damage or do we go for heat? I think we go for heat on this guy. Let's burn him up a little bit. Nice. I think those PPCs are probably worse than uh, than him punching me. Worry about those guys later, buddy. They can't do anything really to us. Okay. Let's get up here. A little bit of height. A little bit of extra height and just fire straight on this guy. Oh, come on. Quit showing my incompetence. Firing on That's going to hurt. Not enough to kill, though. Damn it. Alright. We got the Hetzer here. Still has to go. That's their guy. Yeah, it turned into, like, interesting. There, the AI is really good now. Standing by. AI is really good now. Okay, let's get into here. Vigilance. Go after this guy. Gonna leave the incendiaries on and fire. Tags on. Hit our own guy a couple times, but whatever. Come on, finish him up, finish him up. There you go. Nice, now we can focus on pulling this, this uh, arena down. Hopefully we get those two PPCs off it. Those things are super hot to fire, like 46 heat's pretty hot. I think that's if you use two shots though. We'll have to mount one on an urban mech and, and test it out. Talk to me. Roger that. Back it up, get some range. Not bad. Taking it. Roger that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot where I had. Ah, crap. You know, whatever. Not even going to say it. You guys know. When you're ADHD and tired, it's just a bad combination for trying to do anything successfully. Ooh. Burn up, you bastard. Have you killed that Hector yet? Do I have to get involved? You had one job, buddy. I love Herbies. Awaiting orders. 
You don't need to go anywhere. Just give it to him. Beep, 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 beep. Target's taking a critical hit. No, he's not shutting down? Really? Moving out. Might as well take some mine damage. Why not? There you go. Yes, Monda. All right, now. Good chances to hit. 32 left in the leg. Let's go after the leg. Um, and then let's switch this to Inferno. Hopefully we blow the leg off and don't destroy him. No. Not enough damage. I should have left one as a uh, as regular SRM. Come on, buddy. Bail out. You must know there's no point in staying. The Clint and the Hector aren't going to help you. you got my attention. Do I? Freaking hope so. Let's clean up that Hector. You're going to do a little too much damage against that Arrhenia, so let's... Uh, Work on this guy. Roger. Beautiful. Battle mech down. He didn't take much. I don't know why that Centurion didn't finish him up. Ready to get it on. Um. Don't move. Okay, let's do this. Um. And that. That should be enough to pull the leg, I think. Well, yeah, or kill him. Engine destroyed. Figures. Bulk bank, heat bank, explosion. Well, that Clint's feeling a little bit uh, hunted about the mo and right about this moment. Well, not hunted anymore. What, you could do that earlier, dude? All right, well, contract payment increased by 40%. That should help with the damages and uh, the med bay. Because, damn, I, Hopper's going to be up for quite a while. Got to figure out who I'm going to put in charge now. Um, Arrhenia. That could be the command mech for our uh, second lance. I think that's what's going to happen. We'll put that as the command mech for the second lance. And I think I want the LB-10X... Maybe. We'll see here in a second. A couple of medium pulses are nice. Mine dispenser. Mortar four. We've got a six. We've already got what? We don't have any of these. I thought we had one of these. Snub nose PPC plus TL cap. We'll probably get some on this guy, so. Uh, Arian. Two recoil minus 25% AMS. Primitive armor we definitely don't need because we got plenty of that. Um, C3 units. Now, someone mentioned about the C3. Um, fog of War reveal. This might help if we have a unit in close. So that's a possibility. Now, it might be on your... Oh, my God. I can't not take this. Although, offensive push headshot fire control system is nice, too. Man, really... So much good stuff here. Spike fist. Uh, VX ammo. Nope. I think this is the right way to go with what we have here. This will be the commander for the uh, the Irby Lance. We can move the Centurion out. And then this Exchanger will most likely go on a high energy build mech. Most likely this Arrhenia. Unless we've already got one on there. Okay, we got a Clint part. Uh, Hector part. Alright for that. Uh, medium pulse laser, not bad. The mortar four. We got three of them. Okay, we got two of these. That's nice. We might be able to swap these out. I think we'll swap them out with the... Uh, okay, we don't need this. I can start selling stuff now, too. Keep forgetting that. That can go. Uh, people are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to sell this. I'll tell you why. We need this. 
Um, so I don't use regular Excel engines, and I know, uh, you know, it can be controversial for some people. Uh, plus or minus, I don't like variable damage. Um, it can be controversial because, um, look at it this way. If we lost the side on the Archer and it was running on XL Engine in that, we would have lost the Archer. All right, 33,000. So yeah, as I was saying, if we were running an XL Engine in the Archer and we lost the torso and it went, we would just lose the mech, right? And I don't mind clan XL Engines. And XL can give you, you know, some good weight and stuff. But I don't like to risk it because with randomness of contracts, you never know when you're going to jump into a situation where they're just going to shred you and the XL engine is just going to make it that much worse. So that's why I don't go with it. Now, it could be controversial. Some people say just do it anyway, but I'm just not that kind of person. And I can play a little more cautious and not have to worry about it. But, you know, we're going to start pushing the limit very soon here. Um, and I, I don't want to take that risk. Um, because we don't, I mean, we don't have a lot of max right now. And if we were, if the archer was to go or whatever, um, it would be an issue at this point. So I'm just going to want to throw that out there. Okay. Let's have a look at the mech bay. Let's bring the Irenia forward. I think we might drop the Centurion out of the lineup here and bring up the other urban mech. Um, but let's have a look at storage. Let's go ahead. Where are you here? we got ability to make a Clint too. Let's do this guy first though. Ready you? And the Clint, I'm sure we can just sell. Uh, this is... Yeah, let's go ahead and ready this. How much is it? Five grand. Sure. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Nice. Come on. There we go. So, yeah, we got a Gladiator still. Two Fire Bees. And the Urban Mech. Let's bring this forward. Because I think I want to go ahead... I'm going to jump planets, I think, between episodes. So the Centurion, what do we have left on this? Not much. We lost the LBX-20, so that's kind of a sad thing. We don't really have, we got LRMs with dead fire ammo in this thing. There's not much here, endo steel. So let's just put this in storage for now. We'll probably go back to it at some point. Um, but let's do, where's the one we just brought forward? This urban mech? Did we bring the urban mech forward? Thought we did. Well, where is it? Am I just not seeing it? Clint? Wait, what? Am I going crazy here? I'm going crazy, right? This guy's got an AC-10. And no other specialist slots. Variable range targeting. That, that's kind of interesting on this thing. Um, oh, the 240 core exists still. I wish you could get regular armor so I could replace the primitive armor on my max, but... Oh, well. What do you do, right? Okay, let's go ahead and scrap that guy. Not getting much for it. Um, oh, here it is. Here. That's bizarre. Okay, we're going to put this guy in storage. Let's confirm that. Put you here. Put this guy up here. Wait, this is the mortar mech. That's the missile mech. This is the laser mech. So we'll do it that way. Um, yeah, let's see what we got in this guy. Let's refit him. This could make a wonderful commander for this unit. Nothing. Wow. Absolutely nothing. I don't even know what to say. Oh, except for that these things uh, exist in here. We get these guys back. So this is gonna, this is going to be a nice high energy build. Look at all the hard points on the torsos. And the CT. Let's max up the armor first. Definitely want to do that. Um, so I'm going to spend a few minutes here just putting this guy together and then we'll end the episode. So if you, people aren't interested in uh, mech building stuff, uh, feel free to, to log out now. We're not going to be doing any more combat. Um, but I do want to get this guy slightly running here. Now, Eternals, we got Endo. You do have Ferro Fibrous we could throw on this guy. But I think we save that for a mech with 
old armor. Now, how fast? This guy had a 240, didn't he? Where did he have? 180. Got a 180. See, the only problem is we don't have a double heatsink kit to drop in here. I'd probably have to pull it out of um, the archer. Which might be the way to go. I mean, we could go with a, a missile build too, though, with a couple of medium lasers. Probably going to have to think about that. 180 core. Endo steel for sure. Um, triple stink. We, we could run hot. and I don't know. Not going to be running hot with this stuff in here. Ah, uh, man. Really? We'll figure it out. Maybe we go mask. I mean, there's still there's still a chance for it to break on activation, though. Fire control system fury. It's a breacher. That's kind of nice. Basic cockpit, basic sensors. Um. How much does this thing weigh? Twelve tons. And we've got less than that. So an AC build is really out of the question. It's got to be a laser build. Like the medium X-Pulse is a beautiful, probably primary weapon for this guy. I mean, I'd love to go with this, but the weight, or not the weight, the uh, heat, 46 heat. 12, I mean, we could go this route. Hmm. And maybe some rocket packs for hardcore punch. I mean, we're not going to be facing that tough of, like that guy. Heat's 15, two slots, one ton. Like this guy could be the rock, rocket 20s, man. How much? Nine heat. That's not that much. Like we could go... Take this one off. Put four rocket twenties on. We're almost maxed out. We need heat sinks. Maybe it's two rocket twenties and a couple of tens, maybe. Rocket pack ten. Two and a half tons. Five salvos. It's pretty weighty. Rocket fifteens are what? One ton? We got six of them. We could go with rocket 15s instead. That's not bad. For now, anyway. And then we want to put some heat sinks in this thing. Um, reason being is I want to be able to fire the medium pulse and the medium X pulse. So this is 20 heat. This is what, 12? Yeah. So with 36 heat sinks, we'd be able to fire both of these, or we could just go with these guys. 7, 14, 28. So that's not bad. Plus the exchanger is reducing the heat. So that's even better. So I don't think we need to worry about heat sinks then. We'll have to test it out, I think. Let's take these two rocket 15s out. Let's go back to the weapons. Um, are they in here? No, they're in short range missiles, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, improve. Oh, these are incendiary rockets. How much weight do we have left? I got five tons. We could go with the rocket pack tens. Like that. That's not too bad. What's the heat on these guys? Not very much, right? Five? We got a quarter ton left. What were we? I know nothing we can do for a quarter of a ton. Handheld MRM with no ammo. Anything we look for a quarter of a ton in here? This actually might be a, good, a nice thing to can we take three quarters of a ton off the armor. Jump jets half a ton. Um. The breacher is not really going to help us. Because that only works if you fire one weapon at your target, right? Uh, 
Um, hmm. Well, uh, let's leave a quarter ton shy for now. We'll figure it out. We might be able to get a, um, a micro laser or something we can drop in or a UAV or whatever. But we'll go that route for now. That's a lot. 25 days, but it's worth it, I think. We've got the sea bills right now. And then I'll get these two urban mechs updated between episodes. We're going to jump, I think. This is 25 days. We're not going to have the second lens back by the next episode. So we'll jump. We'll find a uh, planet, two skulls, two and a half skulls, something like that. And uh, we'll go to town on them there. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.